Welcome to the enchanting world of Eldridge, where the annual festival fills the air with laughter and music. The scent of roasted chestnuts mingles with the sweet notes of a distant violin, creating a symphony that dances through the bustling square. Here, vibrant colors swirl around like a painter's palette, capturing the essence of autumn in every brushstroke. As the festival unfolds, we find ourselves amidst a crowd of joyous faces, each one a story waiting to be told. Join us as we delve into the heart of this celebration, where friendships are tested, secrets are uncovered, and the magic of Eldridge comes alive. This is chapter one of our tale, and the adventure is just beginning. Clara Wren stood at the edge of the bustling square, her bright green eyes scanning the crowd. The vibrant colors of the festival seemed to swirl around her, but Clara felt like a ghost, hovering just outside the warmth of the celebration. Her friends, Jasper Flint, Lydia Thorne, and Theo, were already lost in the throng, their laughter ringing like chimes in the autumn breeze. Jasper, tall and lean with tousled dark hair, wore a leather jacket that glinted with mechanical gadgets, his bravado on full display as he playfully shoved Theo, who was grinning widely, his round glasses slipping down his nose. Lydia, with her long black hair and vintage attire, was entranced by a street performer, her curiosity evident in the way she leaned forward, her large glasses reflecting the flickering gaslight. As Clara watched them, a familiar dread crept in, whispering that she would be left behind, just as she had been in her childhood. The memory of her parents' divorce clawed at her heart, a reminder of abandonment that she could never quite shake off. Clara took a deep breath, forcing herself to step forward, to join her friends. But the moment she did, something caught her eye. A narrow alleyway, shrouded in shadows, leading to a peculiar bookshop. The bookshop was unlike any Clara had ever seen. Its entrance was framed by twisting vines, and the sign above it creaked gently in the wind, reading the enchanted pages. The air around it felt charged, as if the very bricks were alive with secrets. Clara felt a magnetic pull, an inexplicable urge to step inside, despite the chill that ran down her spine. Hey guys, look at this, Clara called, her voice barely rising above the festivals Din Jasper turned, his bravado faltering for a moment as he caught sight of the bookshop. Lydia's eyes sparkled with intrigue, while Theo, ever the jokester, quipped, What's the worst that could happen? A book bites back. With a shared glance, the four friends ventured into the shop, the atmosphere shifting as they crossed the threshold. Inside, the aisles twisted like a labyrinth, shelves towering above them, filled with books that seemed to breathe, their spines whispering secrets in hushed tones. The scent of old paper enveloped them, thick and intoxicating, mingling with the faint sound of rustling pages. Clara's heart raced as she wandered deeper into the shop, her fingers brushing against the spines, feeling the pulse of life within. Each book seemed to call to her, but one in particular caught her eye, a dusty tome that lay slightly ajar, its pages fluttering as if beckoning her closer. Ignoring the warning bells ringing in her mind, Clara reached out, her curiosity overpowering her fear. As she opened the book, a rush of wind swept through the shop, and from its pages emerged a creature, a shadowy figure that embodied her deepest fear of abandonment. Clara gasped, her heart pounding as the creature loomed before her, forcing her to confront the very trauma she had tried to bury.